hello friends this is Sufia. welcome to another interesting video so in this video i want to share some uh, sql built-in functions about date and timestamp okay so we have a lot of good and useful uh, built-in function otherwise called as scalar function okay available so this is what the list but i have took few uh, i want to explain those things okay uh, it will be very interesting trust me so let me log in so here first one what we're going to start is okay we all know that uh, okay if you type values okay then i can type in the any valid function say for example current timestamp right it gives me the current timestamp right also we have a function called now okay it does the same thing okay it will give you the current timestamp okay so then if you want to get only the date or the time right we have cut date right it gives you the date and and cut time it will give you only the time okay these are maybe standard things let's go some interesting ones okay assume you want to extract the month right today is what may month right well, how we can do it we can do it something like month name of we can give the date in iso format so 2018 then you get it's a may month okay so this will work for all the months so if you give here uh, 12 then it will be december fine now if you want to get the day name okay what well, today is what uh, wednesday right so uh, tuesday fine so i'll give like day name of 0528 i'll get tuesday right so before that we normally have uh, you normally use rpgle like i have used rpgle to find what day it is so i'll try to subtract the current day with the first day like 0001 we'll get a number then i will do a modulo with uh, operator 7 and then i'll get a number between 0 to 6 finally i'll find what the day is but now we can just use the day name function which will give you the day right so let's see some more interesting thing and uh, and if you want to extract only the day or a month or a year from a date right you can simply say something like a day okay day of a date it will give you one of the day and uh, similarly if you have a month of a particular date then it will give you the month so it will work like a year also it will work okay and uh, we say day of week so normally a day contains seven days right so we can get between one to seven so that we can use uh, get using day of week okay. if i use day of week for today i get the answer as three uh, because the day of week function starts from sunday so sunday monday tuesday it's three okay so it's giving the answer as three but at the same time we have day underscore iso okay day of week underscore iso this will give me the value two because it will start calculating from monday as one okay so monday is one tuesday is two great so what else we have okay is another interesting one so if you want to find a julian date right okay julian date is something like uh, if you have 365 days uh, January 1 is 1, January 31 is 31, and February 1 is 32, and it goes on. So we can get that using day of year, right? Day of month, day of year. Yeah, day of year. So if you check this one, right, it's giving me 148, okay? And if you want to verify it, maybe I can give Jan, uh, January of uh, 31, it will give me 31. And if I say February 1, February 1, it will give me 32. Okay, this is also a very handy uh, method. And uh, we also have one thing called Julian Day. Okay, that is another interesting one. Julian underscore day. This will give me a number. So if you are if you think what is this number? This number is actually the actual date on which the Julian calendar starts from that day to till date. What is the number of days? Okay, and anyway, how, how this will be useful, but it's an interesting function. So let's go on for a few more things and okay so another thing is a yeah, full year consists of 52 or 53 weeks right we can get that using uh week okay so we have a method called week 
right? So week of zero one thirty one, so it gives me five. It's a fifth week basically. Okay, so if I give uh, five twenty eight, then so today is twenty second week of the year. Okay, this is also interesting one. And okay, let's come to last day and next day. Okay, so okay. a month can contain either thirty or thirty one or sometimes twenty eight, right? So we can get that using the last day method. Okay, so if you put like uh, last underscore day. Okay, last day of. Uh, here you can give any date of a month. It is not necessary that it should be a particular date. I can give like 15. Okay, uh, it will give me the last day of that month. So this date I have given as May month, right? It will give me 31. Okay, 31. If we give same, maybe here I have given two, then it's for February. It will give me 28. And suppose if I give here like 20, 2000. 2000 is a leap year right it will give me 29 okay so that is one good thing so it will give you the last date of that month fine and we have a method called the next day okay this is interesting okay so let's see here next day right so i'm giving 2019 this is today okay it takes another parameter okay that is important today is what tuesday right if i give here wednesday it will give me the next day The Wednesday comes, okay. It will tell me like 29 because tomorrow is Wednesday, right? If I say here Monday, so the next Monday is 3rd June. So that's what it says, 3rd June. So basically, the next day is nothing but it takes one parameter for the date. The next parameter is actually the actual date, next day of which day. If I'm confusing you, so uh, from that day. when is the next monday or tuesday when is day is going to come okay like that great so we have one other thing called quarter so quarter is nothing but we have four quarters in a year q a t r q u a r t q a r t r right so if i say quarter then basically it should say what two right if i say maybe 11 it's fourth quarter yeah it's four And uh, we have few more. Uh, Mental, look. Okay. We can do uh, add month, add underscore months months. Okay. And here you can give like 2019 is today. I can give like I want to add another five months. Right. It will give me the date after adding the five months. Okay. This is good. And we have another thing called months between. This is also an interesting one. Okay. Months between. 2019-0501. Say for example, and the second argument is 2019, maybe uh, 12-01, right? It will give me that there are seven months in between. Okay, it 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 is expecting the bigger date to become first. So if you give 12 here uh, 05, then it will give me seven days, seven months. Okay, fine. So this is what I want to cover. so few things you might have uh, seen earlier or maybe seen as a new one but definitely these are interesting and useful stuff so with this thing right i'm going to join this query right see the result so basically i have only the date and using which i can even get a readable uh, day date month name and year format so these things could be useful on your uh, day to day life and then you can use it uh, wherever required and any calculation can be done using a built in function so that is the thing which i want to cover in this video and i will give you the link for this particular page it has all the scalar function of sql not only related to date and time uh, irrespective of it all the scalar function of db2 is available here just go through it maybe you'll find something interesting uh, rather than this what we have just seen okay anyway so that's the end of this video i hope this helps you and got some in new informations i'll see you in the next video with a different concept thanks for watching